going to be talking about how to use the web application scanning tool known as Skipfish. So Skipfish can be downloaded from the code.google.com slash p slash Skipfish download page. However, I'm going to be using Backtrack, which already has Skipfish installed. Uh, in Backtrack, it's located in slash pentest slash web slash skipfish. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by going through the, uh, the basic commands that are used for uh, your first initial scan. So skipfish stores the keywords that it finds as it scans the web page in something called a dictionary. And it then uses that dictionary to brute force through other pages and uh, try other kinds of attacks. So the first thing you need to do when scanning a website is create a dictionary that can house these words. So what I've done is you can create a file. So we're just going to do touch. Uh, we're going to call this website.wordless. Actually, we're going to call this webscan.wordless. So now you should have a webscan.wordless list here inside of your skipfish file. And you can save this file anywhere, but uh, for right now we're just going to save it in this directory for, to make it simple. Um, the next thing that you need to provide skipfish with is a, uh, an optional list of additional words from the provided dictionaries. So if we go to dictionaries, we can see skipfish has a number of word lists here as well. So what I'm going to do so this is the full command that I've been using. So we're going to launch Skipfish, and then we're going to provide dash w parameter option for the word list that we created. So I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to change this to web scan dot word list dash capital S, and then we can go to dictionary slash medium word list. Uh, it depends how long you want your scan to take, but um, I usually just use medium, and it has uh, enough options in there to usually provide a comprehensive scan. Dash O is where the output folder is going to be located. So in this case, I'm going to create a folder here called web scan on the desktop. Now this folder doesn't have to exist. Uh, in fact, it shouldn't exist because Skipfish will create it and place all of the output files there. And finally, you need the URL option for the website that you need to scan. So in this case, it's just a website that I've been scanning as part of a security review. Once I press enter, Skipfish is going to start, and then it's going to give you some directions, and uh, you can press any key to continue. So now you'll see here that Skipfish starts its scan, and it's going through all of its uh, web scanning tests. And depending on the size of the website and the different options that it needs to check, it may take uh, anywhere from 30 seconds to a few hours. So um, I'm going to actually stop this at the moment by hitting Control C, and then we're going to go to our desktop where you can see that Skipfish created a folder called WebScan. And opening that up, we want to open the index file, and you'll see that Skipfish provides a list of all of the different issues that it found, and it categorizes them from low to medium to high security rating. And you can expand this to view all of the different options and uh, issues that it may have found. So that is a very basic uh, tutorial on how to get started using Skipfish. It's a very powerful tool, and uh, if we do dot uh, slash Skipfish um, here on the command line, We'll notice that it takes a very a large number of options. Let me just go back here. All right, so it's saying we can try dash H. I just wanted to show a list of options here. All right, um, so this is all of the different options that Skipfish can take. You can see it can deal with authentication and access uh, inside of the website, so you can provide a username and password if it's protected by uh, HTTP authentication. And you can also provide parameters dealing with the 
crawl scope, for example, how many levels deep within your website to crawl, that kind of thing. But uh, the this line right here, dash w, dash s, and dash o are the, and then the URL are the basic options that you'll need to get started with the scan. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions about this, uh, be sure to leave a comment, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel, because I'll be including some additional videos on more advanced topics uh, with not only Skipfish, but other tools as well.